Biscuits and tea. What are we going to be expecting 10 years from now? Like where? Yeah, that's a very American way to think. And I, <laughs> I, I, am, I, am, I respect good. that. I respect that. But of course I have a 10 year like plan, but that's a very like, if you expect something, then you be disappointed. And if you are still in the past being sad about something, then you're going to be depressed. So I'm very practice the present kind of gal. And it sounds fucking it's say that again. So, so what is it? You're a practice depressant. I'm trying to practice the presence or the present. Oh, the presence. Oh. Okay, so you're pro- oh, so you're staying present, staying in the moment. I it's got you. True. So you're you're just she's on my let it ride train. Yeah. You just you just let it ride. Whatever whatever happens, just I'm going with my gut and I'm just doing what I feel like doing. If it's podcast, I do podcast. Uh, it's more of a vlog put in in a format of podcast. So it's a vlog of what's going on in my life. And then I just talk shit about what the fuck I think, you know? So kind of like Kanye West. Like, okay. if you understand again, Kanye West, I think you will understand me. He started at the Have podcast. you met him? Have you met Kanye? No, but I met Nas, but that's not the same thing. Ooh. I met all the people, but no. I have not met him. Are you talking about Kanye West as like a whole or like a certain Kanye West? As a whole, not the present. As a whole. <laughs> not the present. Like, I just, I don't have bipolar, but um, he is just very inspiring. Like, everything he does, he's so creative with the Yeezy, with the music. He got yeah. great taste. I feel he's very, very, very talented. And I respect that uh, uh, more than I respect maybe Britney Spears, even though she's a hero of mine and doing perfumes and stuff like that it doesn't feel personal i can feel kanye west all the way from the states over here and that's what art's about it's about feeling it's about resonating and if you can come across with just a shoe or a piece of music and and people the audience can feel it you are doing something right and that's what i'm i'm, I'm clapping for that's what i'm i'm, I'm saying thank right. you for the arts like i think it's some fucking amazing so that leads me to make me uh, – so we, all three of us here, have the same mentality uh, as well within that. And so – Really? What we've created – yeah. So what you don't know that we didn't tell you about because you're not, a, you're not into football is right. obviously we have, a, we have a couple of football YouTube channels that are pretty big. And yeah, what we do with – okay. So within those, what we do is we add these crazy skits – that are they they tend to be very very complex and very intricate and like every time we get a chance to do them we work with these companies right and you know how corporations are because you must have done stuff for them and they have all these rules right the bigger the company the bigger the rules they have the bigger the lawyers and the legal team and all that stuff that they have you know and so uh, I won't name names just to be nice because we we're always still really name good them. with all these <laughs> <laughs> yeah name every single one of them yeah no so like so we're still good but like. We have to always get across that the point is, is that if we cannot do what we feel, if we can't do our artistic nature, our creative, and it might look a little crazy. I can remember especially, but the greatest thing ever is in this B, uh, even internally, like our team, we did we did one that's called the Epic Performance Bar. This is a company that they have uh, sports bars and stuff like that. This ad is really out there. Like <laughs> we were acting like idiots. We are, It's improv. It's all craziness. And the expectation was probably, they're probably going to want us to tone it down a little. But when we sent it to them, they were like, you guys are fucking hilarious. This is great. And they sent us a whole bunch, which we still have a whole bunch of epic bars. <laughs> we, need to, we need to, we've got a whole bunch, like they sent us cases of, of their stuff. You know, so it's good. Like it's rewarded. So I think exactly. you guys should go with what you feel. Because if we all are, are have like this is what I this is our path or your path, and if people will like give you an elbow and trying to like point paint you uh, this way or that way, can you go left? Can you go right? Can you go up? Can you go down? Like if like a fucking puppet, right? So yeah. if you listen to people, then you become a part of this commercial world. If you don't listen to people and listen to your artistic uh, ways of thinking, and you hold that as confident as possible then you will do good no matter what but it is it is so hard to do but it's is a mantra kind of of mine be your artistic self all the fucking time uh and it doesn't matter what corporation or whatnot but 
they have to buy into what you guys are providing. So you guys stand for funny sketches, being free, speak freely, you soccer, everything, you know, rating, whatever, you know. And if you compromise on art, then it's not art. Then it's yeah, a yeah. product that you are getting paid for and you're uh, uh, pleasing the client. But yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know if, if you want to yeah, say something. No, I'm just, no, yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, baby boomers, I don't want to throw them underneath the, the bus, but, you know, I think that a lot of the people who are in these leadership positions and making, you know, the decisions, they came from a, you know, stance where we don't want to offend people. We got to be very careful, protect yeah. the brand and things like that. Whereas I think that some of the younger brands, like, you know, like someone like Gymshark, who recently they kind of came out and they said, you know, fuck racism and they, you know, used profanity in their marketing and, did all this work like that. I mean, that's kind of the, you know, the future, I think, of what yeah. brands are going to need to do, whereas there's still the large majority of brands are stuck behind, you know, the times um, with that kind of thought process. So, 